tell you, whale eating challenge. I've never I had hate, whale before. I hate fish. Whale. Holy shit, this is rock hard. That's a real whale. Are all whales like that? Hard to eat. <laughs> Hey everybody, Joel Hansen here. Today we're at Shakespeare Pub. Look, big Shakespeare, Shakespeare Pub, which is a English restaurant here in San Diego, California, here to do their fish and chip challenge. Uh, so it's like something like four and a half pounds, lots of fish, lots of fries or chips as they call them, and mushy peas, because that's a very English thing. You get 45 minutes, and if you're not, it's about 40 bucks or something like that. So let's go in and see what we can do. Actually, we're already here, we're actually on the patio. It's really cool, and it's pretty nice weather out. So looks good, and let's have some fun. Hi, everybody. So here we are with the challenge. Uh, I guess there's some miscommunication. We were told we could let it cool off. Oh, my tripod is falling. And then a lady just came out and told us we couldn't let it cool off. So, you know, I guess that's a good safety. Uh, Good safety feature here to have. But anyway, so they already started. I'm gonna start my own timer about right now. Right here. Ready? Start. So we're going. Let's eat some fish and not burn ourselves. So I'm not about that life. I'm about living a safe life where I'm happy and I'm healthy and I'm hungry. Alright, anyway, massive fish. Fries and peas. Looks good. Let's go, everybody. Cheers. Stunning and grease. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fish. Oh, good though. Alright, that's starting you to up at 2.15 on my phone right now, okay? 2.16. Okay. Because she told you that. Okay. She didn't know, okay? Like I said, it's okay. Like, just, you know, just, okay. so, just so future people know. But thank you very much. Do you need anything? Are you guys all good? I think we're good for you. guys good? Yeah, I'm good. Right, thank you so much. Hey everyone, welcome to today's video and welcome to San Diego, California. So as you saw, we had a bit of a rocky start to this challenge. First, we were informed by our server that yes, we could let the challenges cool off, um, no issues with that. To which then when I was in the restroom, the manager, owner, I'm not exactly sure who she was, came out and said, no, you guys have to start right now and officially started the time for the gentleman while I was even in the restroom. Um, of course, I expressed my concern, saying we were misinformed, whatever, whatever, and she did actually come back, as you saw, and um, you know, kind of corrected the situation, so I do appreciate that. Um, so now, kind of, let's get into some details. The challenge itself was definitely a very high-quality piece of fish. It was supposed to be caught, and I definitely think it was. It was very, very meaty, um, the fries were cooked soft, which I don't know if that's normal, um, and we had peas, not mushy peas. If anyone needs anything, I'm here for help. We appreciate that. I am humble servant. Blaine is a good man. And good guy. Okay. Any ladies? Seriously? It's a freaking catch. No punch on you. It's here all night. So basically, I got my fries done, fish left, and over peas. These are both hot, so it's kind of like cool off a bit more. That is a beautiful day outside. So for my time, I just kind of kept going with the time that I started. Again, our official time with the restaurant was kind of restart it, and then these gentlemen started a couple minutes before I did. So our times were kind of all over the place for this challenge, but I mean, you know, 
it doesn't really make that much difference. Again, I was just going with my real time. I finished two pounds of fish. First time in 20 years I have fish. Good job. Derek doesn't like fish or peas, so he's definitely a man for taking those on. Clay as well. Clay's only done a couple challenges, so he's diving right in, pun intended. Beautiful good work, guys. Clay's done his thing. I'll adjust my camera angle shortly, but sorry, I had to start really quick because they started the time on us. I very much appreciate restaurants that allow cool off times and actually care about their customer safety. Whereas somebody does not lose a challenge because the item was a safety hazard. For about five and a half minutes in. Another big piece of fish. It's very hot though. Mm -hmm. This is definitely too bad. I'm gonna rely on my good friends, Mr. Ketchup. Oh, oh battery. Turn sauce. Adding on to that, I would much rather see a food challenge come out a little bit bigger, uh, maybe have a little more items or maybe a shorter time limit, then have to put oneself in harm's way or in a risk of harming themselves based on food, which is still inedible because it is way too hot. Um, so, you know, for restaurants out there, you know, just remember that. Um, I would hate to see a patron get burned because of, you know, a time limit or something like that, you know, encouraging unsafe behaviors by eating blazing hot food. But with that, everybody, I'll let you get the rest of the video. I hope you enjoy this delicious challenge. Um, it was overall a really cool experience. And, uh, well, hey, we'll get to the rest of it right now. Let's see what happens. And uh, let's eat some fish and chips. I mean, who doesn't like fish and chips? This is very nice meal. Look at that fish. It is freaking steaming hot in the holy jumpers. But it is a legit cod. It looks great. This is brutal. Well, I really don't want to burn myself. You're doing good, Clay. Keep it up, dude. You're killing it. Oh man, yeah, this is so hot. I don't know about you. Definitely homemade tartar sauce, though. Very crunchy, crispy. What? Very meaty fish. Definitely. It is a good fish. Yeah. I sweat normally. <laughs> One of you. That was Joel. Joel. I'm Joel, yeah. Uh, just letting you know, that was says no. Oh, thank you. So you're 13 minutes, yeah? Pardon me? You're done, yeah? 
13 minutes. Yeah. Just finished up. Delicious tasting challenge. Definitely a very nice, large piece of fish. Very meaty, very well cooked. Derek's doing pretty well here, just as the peas. Actually, he's doing really well. Killing it. We got Mr. Clay over there doing really well. Hanging as well. I'm going to adjust the camera angle so you can see them a little better. And these gentlemen both have about 30 minutes left. So hopefully we'll watch them as they keep killing it. I wish you witnessed it. I was right here the whole time, girl. I know, but I was walking back and forth. You did it so fast. We'll put it on his YouTube. Oh my God. Hi. Look, I can do my belt back up now. I Peas taste like meat. Just honestly, dude, put it in your mouth and swallow. <laughs> Can I get a spoon? A spoon? Or a fork? We have a fork. I don't want a fork. Start shoveling. Use your hand. Like that. Yeah, you're about to start. Oh my gosh. Savages, guys. Thank you. Actually, do you guys want this like at the end for your photo opera? You can leave there, it doesn't matter. Okay. You rock. You want to film so we got Derek. Derek just has peas left. We got Clay. Both of them are doing it. Clay doesn't have too much left, literally. Just like, I don't know, I'd say a quarter of his fries. Maybe a third of his, third of his fries and then just the peas. You guys are both doing really, really well. Shout out Blaine over there, what's up Blaine? Because Blaine's the man, I swear ladies. If you ever want a man, he's the one for you. Valuable commodity right there. Oh God. <laughs> Did you just taste me, bro? I just sniffed them. <laughs> oh my God, my tripod's falling. Time left, you're killing it. You want another flavor or anything? Just bit by bit. Don't go sell this, guys. Sure. That coat and that's regular coat. Okay, I'll pass that to you. Thanks so much. So just put a small, small bits of peas in your mouth. Just take a little sip of that, just fucking swallow it. All you're gonna taste is that sweet juice. Small bit, swallow it. Small bit, swallow it. Yep. That's alright, you have like, it's like half a fist there. Yeah, you like fist. Remember, sometimes you gotta do things you don't wanna do. You guys, both of you guys are killing it right now. You're really, really well. Don't eat my own fing word, okay? I'm gonna <laughs> All you were doing. I hate it when people do that. 2520. You just tapped out, huh? Well, he's not, no, he's still or like not. you might get us in the second half. He's still in it. That's what I was thinking. Encouraging words. Too. He's still in it.
Look at this piece of work. How do you even describe this shit? Let's send them on the computer. <laughs> it's my pool. I live here. Yeah, I wonder the price of this, uh, I wonder the price of these houses up here. Jeez Louise, bro. That's a great view though. Look at this, look at this. Look at that beautiful coastline. That is called, called the coast of California. How would you like to live there? Have a pool. Yeah. Here's the coast of Colorado. Colorado, rest in peace. Just look at it. Just look at it. Got a big cross overlooking the thingy thing. Those mountains over there, that's Mexico. That's Mexico. Look at this big thing. It's very nice. Give me three seconds and I will join you for photo. This is after eight pounds. Like looking, it looked great. Yeah. Like the food porn aspect looks really good. Thank you. Excuse me, I need piss room. San Diego Beach at night is very nice. 